how to create a email newsletter with MailChimp using Canva. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a gorgeous looking email for your newsletter with Canva. So MailChimp is a free service that you can either pay for to upgrade or you can send emails for free and it does provide you with a lot of gorgeous templates but templates can only do so much when they're limited to member only features so you can see over here i have logged into my mailchimp account and on the left i have my little navigation bar i have a creation section my audience my campaigns my automations my website my content studio integrations and a general search bar at the bottom left i have my account settings and if I click on create over here you can see I have emails customer journeys website landing pages and multi-channel designs so if I click on emails I have this drop down list so I want to create a regular email plain text or template and if I go into the templates you can see I'm going to click on get started and I'm going to scroll down a bit and look for the newsletter section so over here you have newsletter templates as well you can see there are quite a few different kinds of newsletters available over here but if you scroll your mouse over all of these templates most to all of these templates are only usable if you have subscribed to a premium version of mailchimp and if you're not looking to buy a email marketing service but you still want to send gorgeous emails that look like this well there is a way that you can do that and that is with canva now you can choose to upgrade if you want to upgrade you will have to either go for their ten dollar per month plan which will give you email templates and if you want to have more features not just email templates then you can opt for the fifteen dollar per month plan where you get a lot more customization you get customer journey builders you get send time optimization and a lot more so i would suggest that if you're just doing it for the email templates if you're just buying mailchimp for email templates don't do that instead use canva so how do you use canva you might be wondering well first off what you're going to do is you're going to click on themes and you can choose one of the more empty looking themes but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to mailchimp i'm going to go back to my basic dashboard and from there i'm going to click on create again i'm going to go into my emails and i'm going to start with regular so i'm going to name my campaign and let's just say this is a December newsletter and I'm going to click on begin and once I have begun this little campaign I can choose the people I, I want to send this to I can choose the email I want to send this email through I want to choose my subject and content but before I do all that I'm going to design my email first off and I'm going to click on email templates over here and I'm just going to click on create template and I'm going to go into layouts instead of themes this time and you can see these are empty layouts that you can choose from depending on what you are sending your newsletter for so let's just say that i want simple yet interesting so i want to go for maybe a one two column look yeah this looks pretty good it looks very simple and it has more images which i find to be more interactive in emails people get bored of seeing text over and over again so first off you're going to start with logo so for this purpose you're going to head on over here to canva now canva is a free and easy to use software or just web application and you can use canva by just by creating your account you're going to do that simply by logging into your google account or facebook account or you can enter your email and generate a password so once you have logged into your canva account or created a canva account you're just going to click on search canva and you're going to search for a logo and then you can see there are quite a few different types of logos you can create and i'm just gonna go with fashion logo and it's all the same it's just a plain little box for you to start designing on and now you can see over here canva provides you with quite a few templates of their own as well but i'm just gonna look around the ones that have a crown at the bottom right are exclusive to users of the pro version of canva so make sure you do keep a look out for that but you can easily replicate those designs yourself as well on canva and that is something that i find the most useful oh this looks cute it's a bit vintage looking and i find it to be pretty appealing and i'm going to orient my brand around this logo and now what you're going to do is you can start off with a template like this or you can start from scratch as well but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up the text and all of that. So I'm going to delete and I'm going to start adding my name. So 
let's say brand name is vintage and obviously caring for you since 2010 so i'm gonna remove the 2010 and i'm gonna add 1997 I keep it as vintage house and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on elements over here at the left and I'm going to search for dress or any little icon that I could place over here that would fill out the space so what you're going to do is you're going to go into graphics make sure that you go into graphics once you search for your little item you want to insert onto your logo and just try out a couple of different kinds of icons or images I don't like this I'm just going to keep on scrolling until I find something that I like. This actually is a pretty interesting looking image and I'm going to change the color so if I click over here at the top left in this section I can change the color of this little drawing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this over here like so. So I think this looks pretty decent and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download this and I'm going to download it as a PNG. Once you have downloaded this I'm going to go back into my MailChimp account I'm going to click on my logo. I'm going to click on this little pen icon. As you can see over here, you can upload your logo over here. So I'm going to click on replace. I'm going to click on upload. And I am going to go into my downloads. I'm going to upload this little logo that I have. And like so, I have added my logo. Obviously, I'm going to change the size of my image display. So if it looks too big, you're going to resize it like so. And if you find that you created a logo, that is too big all you're gonna do is you're gonna head on over to canva you're gonna go into your canva homepage, and you're gonna click on custom size so first you did 500 by 500 pixels but if you want to measure or keep your measurements accurate i would suggest that you click on pixels and change it into inches instead and then you can keep a good measure of what your logo size is going to be so i'm gonna still work with pixels because i previously did that and i'm gonna go with 200 or 250 by 250 pixels and that is a very easy to use size for logos that i have found i'm fine with this logo right now and after you create your logo so you're going to add your copyright text and below that you're going to add your interactive images that you're going to design on canva as well and then you're just going to add some other copyright text so i'm going to skip text sections but i'm going to design another photo so what you're going to do is you're going to go onto canva you're going to click on create a design i'm going to click on custom size I'm going to go into inches and then I'm going to estimate what the sizing over here is going to look like. There are three photos that I can add and this is a December newsletter so I'm going to add or design images accordingly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select inches and this looks around 10 by 5 inches think that would be fine i'm gonna click on create new design and you can see over here this looks pretty fine i think this will fit pretty well into that box now you can start off with templates but for this i'm going to show you how to start from scratch so i'm going to go on to elements first off i'm going to search for background and i'm going to add this little sparkly background and i'm going to change the color i'm going to select this i'm going to press ctrl v change the color again and like this i'm going to place it like so and you can obviously pick out any kind of background that you like make sure it just fits and doesn't look too off in your overall design and if you like a certain kind of background but you want some different customization to it if you just click on a element then it gives you magic recommendations and that is different elements that look similar to the element that i just selected so that's going to help you out in keeping a cohesive theme overall or i can add you know this image this looks very appealing as well so I'm going to opt for this instead. I like this a bit more. Control C and Control V. Add it over here. And I'm going to change the color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on text. I'm going to add this little text block. And I think that this is actually perfect for my newsletter. I was going to add a sales section as well. So I really don't even have to change the text box. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into elements. And what I'm going to search for is rectangle or you can search for a square i'm going to select onto graphics i'm going to add this little dotted box i'm going to move it and then i'm going to just search for a simpler background for my text i'm going to go with this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to place it all over the text and i'm going to do a right click that i'm going to send it backward and then i'm going to just make sure that they fit fit accordingly and just like that i have designed the second image now i'm just going to download that as well and i'm going to go 
back onto MailChimp and I'm going to click on my edit over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select scroll over here. I'm just going to open this up a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on replace. I'm going to click on upload. I'm going to upload this. Just like that, I have this beautiful little image and it looks so much better than the basic little templates that you have here on MailChimp. Although they are great, you can do and have the same functionality just by using a combination of the free version of MailChimp and Canva. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to design beautiful looking emails using Canva as well and start sending them for free using MailChimp and I will catch you guys in the next video.